So I thought this would just be like a fun speculation video about how you could break up um, the second part of the remake series. So Final Fantasy VII Remake Part Two, And um, in the Ultimania translations, Nomura was saying he wanted to maybe get the second part out as soon as possible and even do smaller pieces. And then Katase would kind of said like, well, maybe not, you know. Um, so, and they just discuss. They just said a little bit about how they're not sure how they're gonna break it up. And so I, uh, I noticed there was a Reddit post from a guy named uh, Deathfire One Two Three, and he gave a he proposed a list, eighteen chapters long, because part one of the remake series is eighteen chapters long. And so I thought that was kind of a good idea, just like a good starting point on to get some ideas. And obviously they probably already have all this like figured out by now, but I just thought it was fun to just think about how it could be broken up. And, uh, cause it seems like a lot, there's so much to cover in part two of this remake. If you're going to have an impactful ending, um, but I think it can be done. I think you can get all the way up to city of the ancients with that iconic scene with Aerith. And it can all be done in a, a one game. And so, like, let's just look at it and just kind of see what could happen. So here's the list on the left here uh, on the screen. Deathfire123's list. Thanks, dude, whoever you are, for making this list. It got me thinking a lot. And he was thinking, like, okay, there's 18 chapters. And then he even said afterwards, like, he w this wouldn't be ideal for him. But he was just kind of thinking, like... Yeah, this would be 18 chapters worth. And he split them up like, here's chapter one is calm, chapter two is a flashback. So I kind of like looked at that and I thought, you can combine some of these though, I think. So if you want to look at his list here, he's got, you know, chapter three, Chocobo Ranch, chapter four is the swamp, chapter five is the mine, six is Condor, seven is the lower city of Junon where you fight Bottom Swell and do CPR in that girl. Totally wrong CPR. Uh, don't ever do CPR on somebody that way. <laughs> Chapter 8 is Junon, Upper City. Yeah. Uh, the freighter or ship, Costa del Sol, for Chapter 10. 11 is the abandoned theme park. 12, he has Coral. 13, he has Golden Saucer. 14, he has Golden Saucer Prison. 15, he has Cosmo Canyon. 16, he has Cosmo Canyon Crips. And then he has Gungaga after that. Um, but in the original, you could actually go to Gungaga before that. So, uh, and then chapter 18, he has Nibelheim. And so this is also kind of assuming, I guess, we're both assuming, this guy, Deathfire123, and me, we're assuming that the game is going to follow the main story beats and, like, locations of the original still. Um, so let's just assume that for now that it's going to, like, follow the same kind of path, you know, in terms of, like, where these places are. So in mine, I decided to, like, go a little bit more in detail on mine, and combine some of the ones that he put in here. So I, for mine, I put chapter one is calm and the flashback. And I even put in some ideas for like boss fights, you know, like how these would work out. So I have a uh, end boss for chapter one is Sephiroth, player controlling Sephiroth in the flashback and you kill like a dragon, you know. And then there could be some more cutscenes that afterwards, but that would at least be one big fight at the end uh, that you could control, that would be pretty sweet opener, I think, to the game. Um, and, you know, in the new threat mod, uh, at the end of this flashback, Yuffie comes in and steals all your materia. And she's a mandatory character. So, th that's a great... And honestly, the remake series has taken a lot from the new threat mod already, it seems like. Um, like in the new threat mod, Barrett has an innate ability to, um, increase like his defense and be more tanky and stuff. And in the new threat mod, there's like moves like lifesaver and steel skin. And I don't know, may maybe they didn't get influence from that, but it seems like they, they could be in a way. Um, so anyway, like more on, maybe there's a lot to talk about with new threat mod, but anyway, uh, so Yuffie, like becoming a character like early in the game around calm or maybe just somewhere near after that where she kind of like you, you encounter her in some way and maybe there's like 
some kind of Wu Tai faction or something that she can hand off the materia to or whatever, that would be that would be totally cool. And I think it'd be a good way, you know, to introduce her and maybe she uh or maybe she's just there to infiltrate your party to like give some intel to what's going on at Wu Tai, you know? So maybe she's like a Wu Tai operative <laughs> or something. I don't know. But anyway, you could introduce her somehow to this and make her sort of sketchy, right? Like maybe she can't be trusted. I think that would be a good idea. And so then I have chapter, so that would be chapter one is calm and the flashback. One chapter. That's the opener. Be a pretty sweet opener. You get to play a Sephiroth. Chapter two would be the Chocobo Ranch and the Swamp and the Materia Mine all in one chapter. I think that the Chocobo Ranch, you could learn about Chocobos, learn how to catch one. Maybe you need one for a certain part of the swamp and then they're like, can go through the rest of it and get to the mine. The mine can end with like, you know, some monsters and, a, and an encounter with the Turks. Like in the original, you encounter them, but you don't fight them. In the new threat mod, you do fight them though. Um, in chapter three, I would have Fort Condor with uh, with some map, like world map kind of thing. And then the lower part of Junon. So Fort Condor, you could go there and shop. There could be... Um, maybe a mini game thing there like they had in the original. I don't know. Um, but maybe some side quests in Fort Condor. And if you just want to skip it, you can. And then, lo and then the end boss of chapter three would be bottom swell, a serpent before the CPR section. Chapter four, I would have be Junon. I would have Roche here. I would have a battle arena or simulator, one of the two or something like that as an option to, so you can fight something while you're there because you're mostly just sneaking around in the original and there's no no real, there's not really any fighting at all I don't think there so I would have Roche be in like one of these battle arenas or sims you know or just encounter him in some way and uh, maybe he even knows it's you like your cloud and he's like hey I won't tell anybody or anything you know like because he's weird. He's a little weird in the first one, right? It's like he wants to fight you, but he doesn't want to kill you. And he even kind of helps you sometimes. So you could have an encounter with Roche there in Chapter 4. And in the remake Part 1, you encounter him in Chapter 4. So that's might be fitting. Chapter 5 uh, is the freighter. That's a creepy part. Genova, end boss for that. Chapter 6, um, you're at Costa del Sol. You have the world map. And then you have the abandoned theme park. Theme park. I feel like this could all be one chapter because... You don't have to make Costa del Sol like this huge sprawling city or anything. It can just be like a small stop like it is in the original. And then you'll have um, the world map to run around on, you know, and, and whatever, you know, iteration that takes. Is it really a world map or is it just like a one path, you know, um, whatever. And then you're in the abandoned theme park. The uh, An end boss or mini boss for this would be um, just like that bird thing you encounter where you steal those... Um, Phoenix Downs, uh, perhaps, like in the original, or maybe they just created an entirely new enemy altogether, like they did for like the train graveyard or something. Um, chapter seven, I would have be Coral Golden Saucer. The end boss would be those those machines that Dio um, has grab you and take you to the desert prison because they think that you are responsible for like these people being killed and stuff. Um, so I would have you fight them and like somehow, you know, you're all stunned and taken down there anyway, or they can, they can rework that however you want, but have some kind of like encounter and fight there before you get sent to the prison. Chapter eight would be the desert prison and boss would be dying. So that's Barrett's backstory and all that stuff. Uh, chapter nine would be, Buggy exploration. So we have the buggy now. We can drive around to some places. That would be awesome. I really don't want it to be like a warp thing, like, you know, where you just like warp to locations because you have the buggy. I just don't, it just really would not be that satisfying. It re really would be cool to have some buggy exploration. You're driving around. Um, you can kind of just see like the world, you know, in some of these locations. And uh, you're on your way to Gungaga. And, uh, you fight the Turks there. In the original, I don't think you do, but in the new threat mod of the original, you do fight them. 
And then the unboss for this location. And there's a lot of stuff here. Like there's like a broken reactor. There's some backstory with Zach maybe because his parents live here. The end boss I would have be a Shinra mech with Scarlet. And Scarlet has somebody or she uses the Titan materia to fight you. And you get Titan materia from this encounter. That would be awesome. Um, next I would have chapter 10 be the more buggy exploration with Cosmo Canyon. There's no boss fight here. Just a lot of cutscenes, you know, cinematic sequences, a lot about the planet, a lot about what the whispers were, were and what's going on with all that. And then chapter 11 is the Cosmo Canyon crypt where you go on Red 13's like backstory with uh, the end boss that G. Natak, I don't know how to pronounce that. And uh, yeah, that'd be chapter 11. Chapter 12 would be, uh, you know, traveling again on the map to Nibelheim and the Shinra Mansion puzzle. So, and the end boss for that would be the whole puzzle getting Vincent. So whatever bosses are necessary and all that. And that would be chapter 12. Chapter 13, I think would be, right, it would be Mount Nibel. Um, you'd have dragons as mini bosses the same ones that you fight in the flashback at when you play with sephiroth in chapter one the end boss would be materia keeper just like in the original and that would end that chapter out chapter 14 is rocket town uh you could have palmer as the end boss here maybe roche shows up again because we only got a got him once in the original in the part one of the remake uh so maybe roche shows up again here Maybe Rufus is there as well. Maybe you can encounter him because he was such a cool fight in part one. I don't know. Uh, but that would be chapter 14 is just Rocket Town, getting to know Sid, getting um, the tiny Bronco. I also think I would change that so that Shinra is not really necessarily after the tiny Bronco. It seems like they have plenty of technology. They don't need that little plane. Um, and so maybe you use it just as a getaway, you know, like you do in the original, but just kind of like, change the the motivation of Shinra to be there. Um, maybe they're more interested in the rocket or something. Um, chapter 15, I would have totally be like, like open the thing up to side quests. You can revisit previous locations um, and you have the tiny Bronco and the buggy at your disposal. And that could be, you could spend a lot of hours there doing stuff. Chapter 16, the Keystone Trail. Um, so this would be, you're trying to figure out where to get the keystone so you can go to the Temple of the Ancients. Um, because uh, the party's notified, I think. Because uh, you're, you're trying to follow Sephiroth and you're trying to get to the Temple of the Ancients and all that stuff. So the keystone trail will be chapter 16. This would be a pretty big chapter, I think, because you'd have to go to some locations to figure out where you're supposed to go, kind of, like what you're supposed to do. In the original game, you end up in Gold Saucer at an arena fight, a Coliseum fight, and you're trying to win the Keystone from Dio. But I think it would be a cool twist if the Keystone's not there in the remake, and it's actually in Wutai. And the reason it could be in Wutai is maybe Yuffie steals it, you know, um, or something like that. So maybe you lose Yuffie as a character, and so you have to go to Wutai, and then Wutai is like a big location with, uh, with several boss fights and all that kind of stuff. Maybe that could be more than one chapter, but it would be really cool to like, chapter 16 starts, and it's like, all right, well, what are we going to do about this Keystone thing? You go to Gold Saucer, you fight like in the Coliseum and to win it, and then you just, get, all you really end up with some, is some information, you know? So it's not there. Then you get back on the tiny Bronco and travel all the way over to um, Wutai and to try to find, you know, Yuffie or whatever, who you think actually t stole the, key st the keystone and all that stuff. I think that would be like super cool and a way to tie in Wutai a little bit better and uh, learn a lot about Avalanche and whatever else. So that would just, that could just be like a giant chapter. Like that would be a really big chapter. Uh, chapter 17 then, but I don't think I would end the game there, you know, so, because it's just, it's not really a good way to end it. So chapter 17 would be Temple of the Ancients. Um, end boss is, you know, the Jenova Roth encounter. Uh, you have uh, the dragon. 
And the reason I would put Genova Roth, like Sephiroth and Genova in some way, is just because he's there, like, wreaking havoc and, like, you encounter him and talk to him. I feel like you should fight him a little bit, you know, and while he's talking to you. And it doesn't have to be as big and bombastic and crazy and awesome as, like, the end of part one of the remake or anything. But it would just be, like, a fight with this, like, apparition of Sephiroth. And then you would encounter the dragon. And he kind of, like, takes off. And then you'd have to fight Demon Wall. That would, those would be, like, the end bosses for Temple of the Ancients. Um, kind of just like in the original, right? Chapter 18 would be Cloud's Dream where he's he's dreaming that Aerith is talking to him and Sephiroth is talking to him. The Bone Village uh, quest and then the forest where you have to get through that. And for like a boss, I think I would just like have you fight the Kajata summon materia somehow and uh, obtain it that way. Chapter 19 then would be the City of the Ancients, its own chapter. A lot of lore and stuff would go into that, right? Um, you can have some fights and stuff, but like I don't think I'd have like a boss fight. Maybe I don't know, but and then chapter twenty would be um, Eris' death. The end boss is Genova, right? Genova slash Genova off, and they can make that as epic as they want to close out the game. I think that would be a good way to close out the game, honestly. And it would only be two more chapters than part one of the remake. And it might seem like, well, this is like a lot of stuff, but I don't know, with part one of the remake being 18 chapters, you know, and they already have a lot of these assets made, it seems like they really could pack in all of this into a game, into one game. So I don't know, maybe not. Maybe you think like Cosmo Canyon and Wutai and Junon are each going to be such big bustling locations that they just can't do it, you know? But then it's like, well, where do you end the next part of the remake then? I mean, do you end it in Cosmo Canyon? Like, or do you end it in Nibelheim? If you end it in Nibelheim, you can't get Vincent in the next game, which kind of sucks. Uh, but that also means that, like, you'll have all your characters going into, like, part three of the remake, right? Minus one. So, uh, I don't know. I, but this is just a speculation video anyway. This is just for fun. So, and it just kind of gets you excited about part two, where it's like, well, where could this go, right? Um, yeah, I guess, like, most of this, too, is just following the original game, but my my biggest changes are things like Kate Sith not really playing the role of the spy as much and taking the keystone and giving it away. You know what I mean? It's more like I try to tie in like Wu Tai maybe with it somehow. So it's not like I have it all figured out. I'm just trying to show you like here's a list, right? chapters 1 to 20, two extra chapters than the part one of the remake had, just to see how it could be done and like like kind of get in the mindset of how they broke up the first one a little bit. Um, and it just it's, it's kind of exciting to just kind of mull over this and just look at how like incredible the next game could be, especially if the locations can be traversed between each other, like with the buggy, the tiny Bronco, Chocobos, like if you can really do all that in the next game, that would be really cool. You know, um, I'm not sure how that would work with like loading times and all that stuff, but uh, it is exciting to kind of just like think about, you know. So here's, yeah, so that's kind of like my list um, in comparison to this dude's list, Deathfire123. Um, and uh, I thought it was just fun to go over. All right.